My name is Rainu Nam Joshi, and I'm going to be your instructor, mentor, and guide on this incredible journey we're going to take together to embody our truth and not our myth. First, I wanted you to think about why is it that we should study Vedic astrology? Because you're going to be putting in a lot of your time and your effort and your money to study this subject. Vedic astrology is called the eyes of the Vedas because it's the only Vedic science that supports a 360 degree view of life under one teaching. So while the other Vedic teachings like Yoga, Ayurveda, Vedanta, Mantra, they all have a targeted focus, Vedic astrology stands alone in that it offers mentoring on all levels, that is physical, mental, social, career, family, relationships, and spiritual path. In other words, Vedic astrology offers guidance and mentoring on all the Purushatra, or what are the four Vedic goals of human life. And what are those four goals? Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha. Dharma, a purpose-driven life. Artha, a life where we have adequate resources and we have reasonable health. Kama, a life where we have relationships and fulfillment of some of our desires and we experience joy and beauty. And finally, moksha, which is supporting our highest goal of spiritual liberation. What you're going to learn is that Vedic astrology counseling is different from all the other coaching and mentoring systems that you may have come across. And that it doesn't offer any specific formulas and prescription and there are no yes no answers it's because Vedic astrology is primarily karmic counseling so what it does is is that it focuses on your horoscope which reveals your unique karmic ecosystem and so it recognizes that each person's body mind consciousness and even social circumstances are distinctive and unique Therefore, the counseling, mentoring, and remedies that they receive should also be adapted likewise. What I'm offering you in this course is a profound and penetrating understanding of all the foundational astrological principles. But more importantly, how to put this giant Vedic knowledge into practice. I call it integrative because I integrate from the get-go Vedic astrology with other Vedic sciences like Ayurveda and Yoga. And I also attempt to integrate, whenever possible, scientific discoveries in physical, mental, and spiritual well-being that support Vedic psychology and Vedic astrology. Over the course of 25 years of working with clients and using Vedic astrology as a counseling and coaching system, I came across many therapies, I found many therapies that I found supported my work with clients. For example, constellation therapy. And so what I've done here is I weave those into the course to show you how Vedic astrology can be integrated into other healing therapies. Vedic knowledge is timeless and timeless truths are contained in myths and stories of all cultures. So I also weave in Vedic and modern myths and stories to help you understand astrological principles. And finally, most importantly, I capture Joseph Campbell's hero's journey as a system for broad horoscope interpretation. Vedic astrology is the primary counseling tool and mentoring intervention of Vedic knowledge, of the Vedic tradition. And I've always believed that it should be embraced as much more than just predicting the timing of events. So before we dive into the prediction methodologies, we must first understand the whole field of life that Vedic astrology teaches. Otherwise, even if you become an expert predictor, your prediction, expert astrologer, your prediction may be accurate, but your guidance may not be. So predictive techniques are not the main emphasis of this level one course. 
but rather how to use this ancient wisdom of Vedic astrology as a timeless spiritual counseling modality for the 21st century. I'm sharing with you in this course not just my deep love and knowledge of Vedic astrology, but also my personal spiritual journey of embracing the life stories, the joys, the conflicts, the distress of thousands of my clients who put their trust in me over the years. And it was only with practice that I learned how to inspire my clients towards self-knowledge and self-discovery and truly receive the physical, mental and spiritual benefits of having your horoscope interpreted. And I have come to believe that there's really no other modality that can match the speed at which you can gain guidance and empowerment to influence the course of your life. And most importantly, to become the authors of your own life story than Vedic astrology counseling. There, there's a lot of Vedic astrology courses out there. There are books and videos and blogs, and they're all good. But as far as I know, there aren't very many that actually teach you how to put the theory and prediction into practice for real world solutions and real world people. You know, real life is filled with success and failure, adventure and crisis, and sometimes plain, just plain boredom. What you're going to see is how Vedic astrology explains how all this fits into our search for a fulfilling life and still have the courage to stay on the spiritual path. So I designed this course to help transform the practice of Vedic astrology in the 21st century. It's appropriate for advanced astrologers as well as for beginners and those who are not who don't intend to become astrologers and just want to utilize the sacred knowledge in their healing practices. And so it was designed to be seamlessly integrated into your personal development goals as well as into most systems of coaching and healing therapies. The primary focus of this course is empowering you to adapt to the influence of the planets and not be limited by them. And I offer a wide range of knowledge, philosophy and approaches so that you can utilize these methods and you can put them to use from day one to motivate, inspire and guide yourself, your clients and your loved ones. You know, this is the course I wish would have been available to me when I first started seeing clients more than two decades ago. Most people are not aware that classical yoga and Vedic literature contains vast knowledge of human psychology. In fact, they were obsessed with understanding human psyche and why we do what we do. And the Vedic literature and yogic literature puts a great deal of emphasis on mental and spiritual health counseling. And what you find is that yoga students and yoga teachers often find themselves in mentoring and counseling roles, but they have no yogic counseling system to, to lean on or to call on because it's not being taught. Because remember, yogic counseling is different from other approaches that you might be using because it's primarily karmic counseling. So in summary, while yoga, Ayurveda, mantra, all these offer remedies. They serve as remedies for the human condition. Vedic astrology remains the primary diagnostic tool of yoga psychology. It's called Jyotish in Sanskrit. Jyotish means that which illuminates because it serves as a guiding light to all the Vedic branches of knowledge. And what is it that it illuminates? It illuminates the hidden dimensions of our psyche, which is our karma, as well as the hidden planetary cycles called dashas of our life's journey. So it is my hope that just as Ayurveda has become an integral part of yoga over the last decade, Vedic astrology is now poised to be embraced by the yoga community, by the spiritual community, as an essential part of our yoga journey. 
journey we're going to take together in this course is by no means going to be easy. But I can promise you that this will be one of the most rewarding journeys you will ever take. So see you on the other side. Namaste.